Now at this point in the skew grid training, I would like to show you how to actually add an item to skew grid. However, before doing that, I would first like to go over the process of determining whether or not you can sell an item on Amazon, dropship that item. Also, I would like to calculate the profitability to make sure that the item is profitable. So in this video, I'll focus on doing that first. And then from there, we will proceed into actually adding the item onto SKU Grid. So first of all, in this video, this is the item that I am attempting to sell to dropship. And this is the item at the source supplier. So that is always your first step, of course, to actually find an item to dropship. And um, I've gone straight into pre-selecting an item for this video. And so the first thing we need to make sure of is that you can actually sell the item. And to do that, I'm going to click on sell on Amazon. And once I click sell on Amazon, if it brings you to this screen where it allows you to make an offer, then we know right away that you are able to sell this item. If you were not able to sell it, it might take you to another screen where it would tell you to request approval. In some cases, you might be able to get approval, but in many cases, you will not be able to easily get a approval. You will, be ha you will have to buy uh, at least 10 units, provide invoices, and do other things. Trainings, it all depends on the item. But in this case, we are able to sell the item because it says offer, and it's allowing us to create our offer. Now, the other thing is Zorro Select, the supplier. I need to make sure that the item coming from Zorro Select is going to be profitable when I sell it on Amazon at the going price that is currently on Amazon. So to do that, of course, you could do the calculations by hand. I suggest using uh, my Amazon dropshipping profit calculator, which I created just for this purpose. I'm actually going to reload it so we can do this from scratch and the way this works is you would put the price per unit which is two dollars and sixty three cents at zero select the number of units that you're selling that you will sell on Amazon at once meaning per ASIN and that's one unit if it were two pack you would say two units the shipping I happen to know that at Zorro the shipping is five dollars and then we have the percent tax so the, if you're going if you expect to pay tax on the item then you need to put a percentage um, I'm in the US and within the US I'm selling on Amazon US the high range for tax is about 10 percent so I'm going to put that in 10 percent and that will calculate the tax which is calculated on the the subtotal and the shipping um, because sometimes in certain states in the US shipping is taxable and now this is the total cost is eight dollars and thirty nine cents for the item and now I look at the repricing now for the repricing you have to pick the Amazon fee not really pick you have to enter the Amazon fee percent and it's set by default to 15 percent however there are certain categories where the fee is not 15% but um, most of them are 15% many of the categories that are not 15% um, are items that you might not um, likely drop ship but there are some items that you might possibly drop ship that have different um, fees such as 8% okay or 6% um, we see here for personal computers so um, it's still always good to check but most items are going to be 15 percent and they're usually not going to be any higher than 15 they're going to be lower but there are some things that are higher like clothing is 17 percent and gift cards are 20 percent so um, I believe this item falls under garden is where I saw it um, on Amazon under garden so it looks like it's going to be in the general 15 percent range so I'm going to leave this as 15 percent the break-even price is now nine dollars and eighty seven cents and so that break-even we have to make sure the Amazon price is higher than the break-even so I'm going to go to Amazon 
and I see that the item um, the competing market the competing marketplace offers are three new mean, meaning three sellers from ten dollars and eighteen cents and they're not charging any shipping and one used from 1819 I'm looking at the new um, I if possible I want to be able to match this low price or um, if I can beat the price even better but you definitely at least want to match it or you want to be um, no more than five percent higher than that price all right if you but generally I I try to match it if I can't match it I generally um, don't really you know uh, sell bother selling that item so I'm going to put the Amazon price ten dollars and eighteen cents and ten dollars and eighteen cents is actually above the break-even which is good that's a good thing it means that I will make some profit on this item and the initial profit is going to be 26 cents and it's telling you the margin the markup okay now keep in mind uh, a couple things here for one remember I'm using the worst case tax for where I am so it's quite possible that the buyer who buys it might end up only um, end up in a location where the tax only comes out to 5% if that happens my profit will be a little more right the cost will be a little less all right in some cases it might even be possible that there is no tax on an item right and I might end up not paying any tax at all so always keep that in mind you might even be tax exempt at a supplier and that completely um, changes the profit so I'm using the worst case situation here with the tax because I because that if that worst case happens I want to make sure that I'm not losing any money okay so at this point I've determined all right this item is profitable and I haven't even counted cash back as yet now you could also count cash back here to see what your total profit will be and um, actually uh, in doing that you can look at I have two cashback sites we can look at there's rake it in and if I type Zorro on this site you will see that they're given 2% cashback and I have a link if you need to sign up on Zorro um, you can click that link and get a rake it in account not sign up on Zorro to sign up on rake it in so um, and it's totally free you just use your email address and every time you make a purchase through here you'll get your 2% cashback um, and then another site for Zor that has Zorro and you know Zorro is available on a number of cashback sites on this cashback site be frugal Zorro pays a 4% you get 4% cashback for Zorro alright so as you can see right now be frugal is given better cashback 4% twice as much as be frugal and this is why it's so important to sign up on multiple cashback sites so that you can take advantage of which site has the best deal at the time right so if you're using rake it in um, rake it in might have better cashback on other on some other supplier but when it comes to Zorro be frugal is paying more so you should make your purchase on Zorro through be frugal so there's a link to sign up with this as well and um, you can click that link and get signed up on be frugal if you haven't done so already and so if you want to include that you could do that here that would be considered a portal so you put in your four percent and you will get some cash back from that as well and if you, of course if you have a credit card you can put that in here and it will calculate that credit card cash back as well and so that is basically it for pro looking at profitability that will increase your total profit for this item as you will see down here in fact assuming that you even have let's say a 1.5 percent cashback card something like that okay you'll even get um, a little more cashback right total 49 cents um, uh, when you add the cashback to the initial profit you'll end up with this okay so the item is profitable once we've determined that the item is profitable we want to go ahead and continue the process of actually listing the item and in doing that for one we have the price normally 
for now I can just match the price now we're actually going to use SKU grid um, as this is a series SKU grid training series we'll use SKU grid to reprice the item however when you're listing you do need to put a price you will go ahead and just put the lowest price for now and then you need to create a seller SKU um, in order to create the seller SKU I suggest using my Excel system so here's an Excel system if you don't already have a copy I also have a link for you to download a copy of this as well um, so definitely subscribe